Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. Got a kind of an interesting project for tonight that I think is going to be a lot of fun. Going to be using the Dream Wildly Transfer and replacing my Valentine's um, project with the Dream Wildly. And the beauty of chalk paste is it's washable. So I can reuse this surface over and over and over again. How cool is that? I'm going to take a moment to share this with my VIP group. And it looks like Facebook is not allowing me to share again. Aha, it's a little strange. Let's try it again. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line, let me know where you're viewing from. Say hello. Yeah, they've changed a little bit of things, sharing to the community instead of to a group, but it doesn't let me share when I have um, the video maximized. I had to make it small. Go figure, whatever. Anyway, drop me a line. Let me know where you're viewing from. I am going to spritz my surface here with a little bit of water so that I can remove this chalk paste that's been on here since oh, probably late January, early February, and reuse the surface. How cool is that? And all I need is a little bit of water and a paper towel to do that. I actually like also using my board eraser so it's a little bit quicker. Yes, I guess I am a little bit of an impatient person. So truly chalking really appeals to me. So basically to remove um, your chalk paste from an existing um, surface, chalkboard obviously not wood, just spritz it with a little water. Leave it sit, oh, maybe about one to three minutes. And it looks like Facebook is having a problem with my live. If you can see me, please drop a comment. I've got, sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. Learn more. So I don't know if I'm still live or not. Um, give me a thumbs up or something if you could actually see me so I know if I have to restart it or what I'm actually doing here. Well, my phone thinks I'm still live. The laptop says no. Drop me a comment, let me know what's going on, if you could see me or not. It looks like they're having problems playing even yesterday's video. Let me try it again. Well, I'm going to continue. Hopefully it's just on my end, um, but it'd be great to know if it was whatever. Um, I'm going to grab some paper towels so that I can remove the paste from my surface here. I've already spritzed it with a little bit of distilled water, and I'm going to use my scraper to remove the paste. Now, this is some deeply pigmented paste, as you can tell, with this deep, deep pink. I think it's cranberry or whatever. And it's been on here a couple months. So I might get a little bit of um, ghosting or shadowing, but I'll show you how you take care of that. That's easy enough to resolve. Our chalk paste goes on liquid, but does dry to a hard finish 
And I could scrape this without having spritz it with water and then it just kind of like flakes off. But generally it's easier to just wet it and really just remove it. This is being a little bit trying for me. Um, I might not have waited for the water to really do its job yet. But we'll leave this set for a second or a minute or two and come back to it. I still can't tell if I'm live or not. I'll try and come back to this and see. Yeah, it's telling me that I'm live, but it's not actually showing anything. I have a black screen with a circle. So I'm going to continue and hope that this is fine. So I'm going to basically wipe off what I've loosened, or what I've dissolved, if you will. And then I'm going to have to hit this again with a little bit more water because it is one of it is some of our more deeply pigmented paste. So it's going to be a little bit, just a little bit more work to get it off and then remove the ghosting. I am going to use a board eraser, and our board erasers generally come in a circle, and I like to cut them into pieces so that I only use part of it and don't get the whole thing grungy. And this is basically how it works. I spritz it with a little bit of water, flip it over, and then give my board a little wipe down. Not really scrubbing, I'm putting very, very little pressure on this at all. I might have to add a little bit more pressure where it's ghosting here, but this is looking pretty good. Let me grab another piece of paper towel. See how easy and quick that is. I'm going to go over it one more time just in case I've got a little bit of shadow here. I've got the light on above me and I can't really tell if there's some ghosting there or not. So yeah, just in case there is, I'm going to come back over here one more time and just go across it and make sure that I get everywhere the words were. And our board erasers, of course, are reusable. Just rinse them out, get the paste off of them, and let them dry for the next time that you use them. No big problem with that. Easy enough done. And when you cut the um, board eraser into um, little squares or little, I don't know what to call these, basically you've got a flat side that lets you go around your frame. If I had paste up on the edges, it's easier to get at it than if it's the complete round um, board eraser. So how quick and easy was it to remove the chalk paste from that project of a couple months ago? Now I've got my, my board that I can use again for a different project. And I am going to grab a fuzzing towel to make sure that I have it totally dry. I'm using the microfiber side of the fuzzing towel. Make sure I get into all the little corners so that I don't have any water puddling along the edges of my frame and just dry this off nicely. Simple, quick, and easy. Now let's talk about Dream Wildly. That's the name of this transfer. And I look at it as if you're going to dream, dream wildly. Why bother otherwise? Don't let practicality or limitations or how to affect your dreams. Dream, think about what you want. What's your wildest dream? Don't worry if you think it's possible or not. Get it set in your mind first and then investigate how to do it. Never let anything detour you from your dreams. Long time ago, I replaced my car carpet in my house. It was um, oh, kind of like that deep, deep blue, um, blue greenish kind of color. I'm just gonna write the name on the back of the carrier sheet because remember, our transfers are reusable, eight to twelve times or more. 
Anyway, so the carpet was <laughs> truly when my mom saw the house, she hadn't, she's, I think she came for the day um, when I was putting down the escrow and doing whatever and signing the initial paper paperwork. <laughs> but afterwards, she kind of wondered what attracted me to the house because the living room had this dark, dark blue-green carpet and orange curtains, literally curtains, like melon-colored curtains over brown um, mini blinds. And I think they had dark green furniture in the room. <clears throat> and I don't remember quite what else, but it was a young growing family. But the living room was just basically depressing looking, you know, <laughs> and mom couldn't understand. And then the kitchen was um, kind of like farm style with a great big wooden um, table, but it was dark wood and it just really overpowered the kitchen and whatever. And that's just not my style. I like things a little bit lighter, brighter, um, whatever. So mom had wondered what was, um, what attracted me to the house. And actually it was the layout. Okay. Our transfers are adhesive backed. They have this carrier sheet that has a shiny side that goes against the adhesive so that when you're done using it and wash it, um, when it's dry, you put the glossy side of the carrier sheet back onto the adhesive side of the transfer. I'm going to pull it off of that and fuzz it on my little fuzzing cloth, meaning I am deliberately applying fuzz so that it doesn't stick so snugly to my board because this is a brand new transfer. And when I'm done, when I clean it, I will remove the fuzz from it and basically reactivate the adhesiveness of it. So when I could afford it, I want to make sure that my hook's up at the top here. I replaced the carpet, and I replaced it with not a real bright, bright white, but a white carpet. It wasn't cream. It was definitely white. And, um, of course, I had different furniture and whatever else, and I thought it looked pretty nice. I was very, very happy with it. Let me just get this centered. And I had someone come over to visit who took one look at it and said, oh, you're never going to be able to keep that clean. Why would you ever get white carpet? And I thought, wow, well, I got the white carpet because that's what I wanted. And as far as keeping it clean, I had thought about it. My living room was a sunken living room, but the entrance from the front door was into a foyer that was tiled. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time straightening this out, lining it up because this is a little bit of a large board for this transfer. But I think it'll work fine once I get it straight. And I'm a little crooked again. Go figure, right? Obviously, you could tell our transfers are reusable. So I just have to peel it back up and line it up once again. And I think this should probably do it. Just looking top to bottom, side to side, and making sure I've got everything how I want it. And if you ever lay something down crooked, don't worry about it. Add an embellishment, you can hide it. Don't worry about it. There's things that you can do. Okay. Anyway, back to my little story with the carpet. I remember thinking, oh, how sad. She really believes that. I had already given thought to it. I had a tile foyer. I guess I had a dog, and she mentioned the dog. And, but the dog went in and out through the kitchen patio door and the kitchen was tile and I had a rug where the dog came in and she usually knew to stop and I'd let me wipe her feet if it was wet or muddy or anything outside. So I really just thought how sad to put your dreams or your ideas on the shelf for practicality. It was not a problem keeping the carpet clean. That was not an issue. So whatever, anyway, I digress. I'm gonna be using the Shimmer Olive and um, our new Shimmer Orchid Paste for the flower. And then I'm going to be using our Harvest Gold um, or our Har Shimmer Harvest for the, the word you may think. So my advice is dream wildly. Don't put limits on yourself. What's the fun of that? Okay, I have not opened up my berry so let me oh my goodness what a beautiful beautiful yummy color right oh wow and the sparkle 
and I did not bring my little trash can underneath my table as I normally do. So, don't have any place to dump that right now. Okay, so I'm going to stir this up. It looks like its consistency is just perfect and beautiful. Nice, soft, whipped. I'm going to add a little bit to my transfer and grab a squeegee and just go across my surface, pushing the paste through the silk screen. What you see as white is actually the silk screen you're seeing through that to the surface beneath it. A little bit of paste goes a long way. I actually put too much on here. So I'm going to clean this up, remove my excess, put the excess back in the jar. No sense in wasting it. And I need to get a little bit closer here to get the edge of my leaf without getting the stem. So let me scoop off my excess. Yes, I did put a lot of paste on here that I don't. You want to smooth it out, remove any lines, remove any excess paste. my olive, shimmer olive, another very pretty color, nice consistency, not too dry or anything, and I'm not going to use quite as much there because I don't need as much, just do the stem in my leaf, and I apologize, I cannot see any comments. Facebook is um, not cooperating. It's not displaying the page. It's just doing the spinning little circle. So I'm hoping that this is really truly being recorded. My phone thinks it is. I just can't see anything. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, drop them below. And I'm sure that when they straighten things out, I'll see them. Eventually, it might take them might take an hour or two for them to get things straightened out or a one. If you are not a member of my VIP group and would like to be privy to specials, bundles, special pricing, etc., drop the word, the letters VIP in the comments below, and I will add you to my VIP group. Oops! Look at I missed the flower over here. I mean the leaf thinking too much talking and not enough chalking, right? And my shimmer's running a little low. I guess it's time to my shimmer harvest. It's time to probably order some more. This actually seems a little thick. I probably should have thin that down a little bit with distilled water. Let's hope that I could get this on before it dries too quickly on me. If your paste thickens up, just use a little spritz of distilled water and stir it up. If it's too loose, just leave the cover off and let it dry. It'll thicken up because our chalk paste actually is truly made from chalk. So whenever you're stirring it, you want to use either one of our tools like our stir sticks or our multi-tool or something like that. You never want to use a popsicle stick or anything made out of wood because the wood will actually absorb the moisture from the chalk paste and make it dry out quicker. Okay, let me just clean this up a little bit. Remove the excess. I'm going to give this a little spritz of water while I think about it when I put it back, the excess back in the jar. And then I'll stir that up before I close it up. Just use distilled water because you don't want any chance of the minerals in your water um, altering the pigments of the paste. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna peel and reveal. Wow, how beautiful. That is just such a lovely, somewhat abstract flower. I just think it's gorgeous. And I will be showing you how to actually watercolor with this transfer also. Now I've got a little splash of the gold shimmer there. Let me grab a little wipe and just remove that. I could wait till it's dry or I could take care of it now. Oops, actually it's just a crumble of paste from the jar. Okay. How quick and simple is that? Now our shimmer paste takes about eight minutes to dry. Our regular non-shimmer paste takes about five minutes. But either way, quick, easy, simple project and rather dramatic, wouldn't you say? If you are watching me on Facebook, please feel free to like, follow, and share my videos with any of your friends that might enjoy them. If you are watching me on YouTube, please also like. That makes a big difference in the algorithm and how the, the videos are presented. And subscribe and click that little notification bell to be notified the next time that I do go live. If you do not know what Club Couture is and you might be interested in having an hour of creative bliss during showing up on your doorstep once a month for just $19.99 plus tax, shipping is on us, type in Club below and I will send you details about Club Couture. At Club Couture is delivered straight to your door once a month. It includes an eight and a half by 11 transfer, the same size as this one, and three individual paste packets to create your masterpiece. And being that it's reusable, you can create it over and over and over again. Make it for yourself, make it for a friend. So if you'd like more information about that, just um, comment club. And if you'd like to know about the supplies and the paste and whatever and the surface that I used for this project, just comment wildly and that will let me know what project you're referring to and I will send you a link with all the information about it. Thank you so much for watching this evening. I surely do appreciate it. See you soon.